Hey everyone, I am going to try out a recipe, um, a raw vegan falafel recipe by Chris Kendall. Um, if you want the full recipe, you can actually check out his website at the Aurora Advantage or also um, check out his YouTube. He has a video on YouTube as well on how he made it. Um, I'm making some adaptations to it based on what I have. Um, there's one key ingredient that I don't, well, I, I didn't, yeah. Anyway, there's one key ingredient that, uh, which is the sprouted chickpeas, which I'm not using. I'm going to use something else, so it might change the taste a lot. But I thought I'll just try it out anyway, because I wanted to use this up. Hello, Lim Chun Lai, and hello, Stuart Pixton. So yeah, um, his recipe is divided into two. One is dry ingredients, and one is wet ingredients. So the dry ingredients, he asked for um, um, one third medium cauliflower. I don't really know, like, <laughs> cauliflowers are like, you know, there's so many different sizes, but I just kind of like, I watch this video and I look and I'm like, oh, okay, I guess um, I'll, I'll use um, this much. I, I had, initially I was thinking of using one hit and then I thought like, oh, maybe I'll use two hits. Oh yeah, so this is organic cauliflower from Veggies My. Um, if you are in Clank Valley, you can order online. I've been ordering from them um since i think february this year and i really like their um, organic veggies they also have fruits as well fruits are not organic but um it, they deliver direct to your doorstep so yeah that's really cool hello desmond so um use the link i have the i think i put the link i'm trying out that feature where you can put the link but i can't see it so anyway there's a link um and later we'll put the link in the comments as well um, so you can save uh, some money. They say five ringgit off if you use my link, um, or you can use just use my discount code Chef Yin. You save as well. Um, okay, so that's that. There is the cauliflower, um, and then quarter cup raw walnuts. These walnuts have been already activated, so I've soaked them, rinsed them twice, um, and then put them into the Excalibur dehydrator to um, dry them up. And then carrot, so I have a carrot. I think his website says half a medium carrot, but then on his, um, in his video, he says one carrot, so I'm just gonna use one carrot. Um, he asked for medium zucchini, but I don't have that much zucchini, so I'm be going to do, be using um, eh, this one. I'm going to be using Japanese cucumber. And then, uh, uh, two green onions, so I have some green onions. Oh no, I'm gonna use some organic leek instead of the green onions. So uh, this is the leek. Yeah, and then he asked for cilantro, oregano, and parsley. Um, I used that on my cilantro yesterday. I completely forgot. So, uh, so yeah, so let me. Um, oregano, and then I'm going to be using um, Sonanta's, uh pizza and pasta seasoning instead since I don't have that and then yeah and then the wet ingredients he's asked for half a medium zucchini so I have that the zucchini um, and then lemon I don't have a lemon so I'm going to be using uh, my beauty's um, limau kasturi juice this is pure juice hello Yvonne Sue and then um, quarter small red onion I'm just going to use my green onions instead yeah Ah, there we go. We have saved five ringgit on vegetables and fruits here at Veggie Smile, and that's the link. So check that out if you're in the Klein Valley, they deliver. And then, ah, pumpkin seeds. So I have the pumpkin seeds from Organicule. Use my code Chef Yin if you are in Malaysia, you can get 10% um, off the pumpkin seeds. Again, these ones I have activated as well. So I've soaked them, rinsed them, dehydrated them. A um, optional one clove garlic, I'm not using garlic, uh, one teaspoon cumin, I'm going to put in the cumin as well. So, I don't know, I'm wondering whether to do it overhead or just to do it here. Maybe I'll just do it here first. Yeah, until, um, yeah, I'll just do it here first. Yeah. Hello, Carl Rays. Yeah, maybe this side right here. Okay, so it says um, the dry ingredients. So, Loosely chop the cauliflower, walnuts, carrot, and zucchini from the dry ingredients. Pulse using a food processor in batches. Um, adding the green onions and herbs to taste. Okay, so I'm going to do that in batches. 
Uh, I might stand up, so I might blow. Well, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna put in the um, cauliflower first. So I'm using my Thermomix as a food processor. Okay. to process it a little bit more. So we'll do the cauliflower first. Oh, you know what? I should have done the walnuts first. Yeah. Because now it's wet and it'll, it'll be hard to... Yeah, but anyway. This is how it looks like right now. It's been a long time since I did like a... Well, not that long, but it does feel some... Do you feel... It does feel long, right? Since I did the last live. Yeah. I wonder if are people awake. It's like, uh, it's not even 10 o'clock yet. So yeah. Okay, um, next one, um, I'll put in the walnuts. You know what, I'm just gonna stand. It's easier. Okay, next one I'm gonna put in the um, carrots. And then I'm gonna put in the green onion. What does it say? Um, I'm putting the leeks, I mean. Um, adding the green onions. Yeah, I'll just put that in. Okay, I think it still needs a bit more processing, so I'm just going to scrape it down and process this a little bit more. Okay. 
Okay, so this is how it looks like. Coming to KL again, end of the month. That's really cool. At Panas Grocer. I'm gonna be at Midori Market though, so I don't think I can pop by. But um, anyone who's looking for healthy vegan patties, check out Dodo Vegan Hut. We tried their Maharaja patty the other day. It was super yummy. Yeah, and all good ingredients, no like fillers or, you know, additives and all that, so really good stuff. Maybe one day you can do like raw vegan ones. <laughs> that would be really cool actually, because people are always asking for that, so. Alright, so the carrots have gone in, and then now um, instead of zucchini, I'm going to put in a Japanese cucumber and he did say like don't um, don't process be careful with this don't process it too much because you don't want it to turn into mush so let's try this uh, um, yep that. Okay, let's hope that I am able to not process it too much. Ooh. Hello, Dwayne Johnson. Thanks for tuning in. Hey. Okay. I think I wanted to chop it a little bit. Just a bit more. So we're using... Okay. Okay, I'm going to sit down again. So Dodo Vegan Hut says, thank you so much for liking our Maharaja Patti's chef and us. Oh, you're most welcome. It was good. It was really good. I think um, because when I took it out of the... So I used a toaster oven because um, what happened was I used to have a stove here and then... I still have the stove but then like... Um, I used to have piping gas Malaysia and then nowadays... A couple of years ago, they stopped the gas Malaysia thing, and then I just like um, I just use my if I want to cook anything hot, then I just use my thermomix because this can do heat as well. So um, I just stopped using my stove because there's no gas supply, and then I never like yeah I never got the gas to come in again, and um, yeah so I didn't use I I don't have a stove so I can't pan fry it. Um, I gave away my oven because I needed space for my um, for this thermomix and for my blenders and all my raw food appliances so I only have like a tiny toaster oven so we just toast it in the toaster oven which is nice because then you don't really need to use any I don't use it um, I'm trying to go oil free so I'm not using any oils yeah so um, and then when we took it out of the toaster oven I tested it I was like whoa this is so delicious and and then I took another bite and another bite and I, yeah. And then I was like, oh, I have to stop eating it like that. If not, um, I can't put it into my, the rest of it was like a, kind of like a raw vegan patty. Um, yeah, I, I posted the video of that on my Instagram. So if you guys are following me, uh, haven't followed me on Instagram yet. Yeah, check out my Instagram. I'm also uh, at rawchefian at Instagram.com. Okay, so if, we have all these. Let's see what else do we need. So we have the cauliflower, the walnuts, the carrots. Um, instead of zucchini, I'm using uh, Japanese cucumber, the um, leeks instead of green onions. So um, oregano and parsley. Oh, okay. So I'm going to put in some oregano. Hello, Jenny Chandra Sin Jin. Yeah. So he says to taste. I'm not sure how much is to taste. Um, and then uh, I think I put all this in. This is the pizza and pasta. 
seasoning. So there's basil, oregano, thyme, and lavage. Yeah. Put that in. I really like this Sonenta one, which I got from um, Why Not Organic. Um, they are on the expensive side, but the quality is so good. Yeah, okay. No, maybe not all. Alright. How's everyone doing on this Sunday morning? Which um, city or country are you watching from? Let me know in the comments. It will be great to know. And yeah, share this if um, you want to help to get the awareness out on raw vegan food. Okay. So we put that in and then um, you're looking to achieve a couscous te texture mixed together well. Yeah. I somewhat say it's okay so far. Okay, so uh, mixed together well. And I somewhat is from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Same with me. Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Yeah. I actually feel very, um, I feel more motivated today somehow, I think. I got up, did my meditation, did my positive affirmations, and then went for a walk, did my qigong, and then I was like, oh, I need to make this falafel. Yeah. Or we call it falafel in, in here. Uh -uh. Okay. Now, we have the wet ingredients. Um, so Chris actually uses the blender. I'm wondering whether I use the blender or just use my Thermomix, but I think my Thermomix cannot do it, so... Yeah, let's try using the blender. Let's hope that works. Because I'm, you know, putting in some different, um, yeah. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna use um, Dave Spice Crazy Salt because they sent this to me. Dodo Vegan Heart is from Penang. Um, this is Himalayas salt, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and mixed herbs. So, um, so we're gonna put some of that in as well. Yeah. Ooh, it smells good. Hello, Satya KPS. Thanks for watching. Where are you tuning from? Okay, let's make the wet ingredients. Um, Half a medium zucchini, so I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna put in some water because um, the original recipe doesn't have water, but um, because I don't have a whole lemon, so I'm gonna put in some water to help it blend. And then um, I'm gonna put in, this is not a good substitution, <laughs> but this is what I have because I, I, at one time I sprouted a lot of um, mung bean sprouts and then I didn't use it and then, so I froze it and then I thought like, oh, you know what, instead of sprouting chickpeas, I'm gonna use this instead. And then later I wrote a recipe, I'm like, oh, maybe that might not work, but whatever. I wanna use this up, so I'm gonna use it. Yeah, but if, if you're making it, I suggest you use the chickpeas. And then, uh, it asks for a quarter small red onion, but I'm just going to use my green onions because that's what I have. Plus, I really don't like cutting onions. Yeah. Uh, and then a handful of, ah, we have this pumpkin seeds from Organicule, so... Put that in. Where am I standing? I can sit. This one is, yeah. Use my coach, yeah. Use, oh, I wanted to show you what the pumpkin seeds look like. They're like three months dark pumpkin seeds. Okay, just gonna put like four teaspoons of that. Um, and then optional 
was like one club garlic, one teaspoon cumin. So I'm not putting the garlic. But I do want to put in the cumin. Yeah. So one teaspoon cumin powder going in. Yeah. I'm just using this. Um, I happen to see Health Paradise cumin powder. Not sponsored, but yeah. <laughs> I seem to like to say, oh, lemon, I don't have a lemon. So I'm going to be using this. My blue tea sent me this. So I'm going to be using their um, lime juice, their limau custard. I'm just, hello, Darish, Darisha Dad. Thanks for joining. Oh yeah, Darisha, I think you're the one who wanted to see this um, falafel, right? So, yeah. So we're doing that. Let's see. Uh, I think I'm putting in like two teaspoons. Okay. Mm. Oh yeah, Chris doesn't use salt in his recipes, but I do. And so I'm going to use some shio koji as well. This is from Be Real. It's all natural seasoning. Um, this is made from a koji, organic Japanese rice, Celtic sea salt, and filtered water. I like to use. Yeah, I use. At one point, I was quite obsessed with yeah, shio koji seasoning, so I used it a lot in a lot of my recipes. Yeah. Oh dear. I can't seem to open it. I think this happened the other time as well, right? Ah, okay. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. Is it tight here? Okay. I'll use like one and a half and then, and then we can season accordingly but actually um his recipe they're eating it with like some raw vegan hummus and tomatoes and a lot of things so you may not need the salt if there's so much stuff okay let's blend it up and hope it can blend oh And hello, Yong King Ching. All right, so now he says pour the wet ingredients over dry mix really well. Should be thick and slightly wet. So these are my dry ingredients. These are the wet ones. I think it's supposed to be thicker, but oh well. I put in some water, so. And where's my spatula? Yeah. It's actually smelling really good. Honestly, I think I can just eat it like this and I don't have to dehydrate them. Oh yeah, I do want to dehydrate them though because... Oh, there's a... 
It's like one small tiny piece of zucchini that has not been has not been um, blended up, unfortunately. Okay. Hello, Mimi. Okay, so that's what it looks like now. So we're gonna mix it up. I'm just gonna use my hands because after this, we still need to um, shape that into uh, falafel balls. Yeah. I, I think I need to taste them so that we can taste them because it's all veggies and everything's like raw vegan anyway so um, you know what this is just <sighs> mm. 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 I'm wondering whether I want to put miso and I completely forgot hmm hmm I think I like the flavor I don't think but but for me because I don't want my things to have too much salt anyway I mean for the masses I will put in more salt oh hello dairy fat um Darisha that says thank you for sharing the recipe. You're most welcome. Okay, now let's um, get the dehydrated tray. So I'm using the Excalibur dehydrator. This is like I'm um, the nitrate dehydrator, and I'm gonna put it on the mesh sheets because that's what he says, right? Uh, place on dehydrator, I recommend Excalibur. Dehydrate 6 to 8 hours at 115 degrees, turning over once. Front balls to the back and back to the front for uh, 4 to 5 hours into dehydrating time. Balls should be crisp on the outside and side moisture. Okay, so he did say like, um, you take it and he said don't squeeze it. I think he just used, he did this. Oh, I should watch the, the video again to see how he did it. But, yeah, this is super yummy. I would just eat them on its own. Yeah. So, yeah, he said don't squeeze it, right? Let me read again. Gently fall into golf-sized balls using just enough pressure for just a tiny bit of the juice to come out. Oh, okay. Um, honestly, I think I'll make it smaller. I'm trying to remember like what's a golf size ball. <laughs> yeah, I wonder whether they'll shrink. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to... Does anybody have any questions? Um, oh, okay, I'll answer some questions. Some people have been asking me like, um... Uh, the other day, I think somebody came up to me after watching my raw vegan demo at um, Veg Fest asking me whether I'm going to do any in-person classes. Um, right now, no. Not for this year. I don't plan to do any this year. I am working on a project um, for November, so 
keep a watch out for that. I think they'll be they'll be fun and exciting and I'll be yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, so so watch out for that. Um I actually have a lot of um I've written I have two print books. Um one ebook. No no no. Two print books um and six ebooks so um the print book if you're in malaysia or singapore you can get it at popular bookstore yeah guilt that's my the dessert book guilt free desserts um and then the ebooks you can get it at rawchefyin.com uh rawchefyin sorry rawchefyin.gumroad.com um mr jess guitarist are you still there if you can put in the um yeah, the the thing for my ebooks, and then I also have a lot of um. Actually, I have a lot of uh online courses that I created during the pandemic. So um. You know, during the lockdowns and all that, so I was creating a raw vegan uh uh some are raw, mostly raw, maybe one or two are not uh raw, but they're always vegan. Uh, course so um, there is a raw vegan uh, Penang food course there's a raw vegan Malay food course there's a raw vegan Vietnamese food course there's raw vegan Thai food course there's raw vegan Japanese food course there's a raw vegan uh, something on burgers uh, diner 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 food so there was like burgers and um, milkshake, chocolate shakes, milkshakes, yeah, raw vegan milkshakes and yeah, so that was really cool as well. Um, I have a Christmas course as well that's coming up. Christmas is coming up, so well, not that up. No, it's October, November, December. Yeah, I can check that out. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, I have a course on spectacular raw cakes. I have a course on um, afternoon tea. So yeah, check that out. It's at um, rawchefyin.gumroad.com. Yeah, okay. So, so okay. I guess there are no other questions. I'm gonna end here very, very soon. Um, I, yeah, I do have an e-newsletter. If you guys are interested um, in more videos and stories and offers and discounts and rents. I used to do it daily, but I don't do it daily anymore. Um, yeah, because, you know, I'm out and about now. Last time I was just like stuck at home. So every morning I'll write something. But uh, I do send out like two, three times a week kind of thing. So that be something cool to check out as well um if you guys want the link to sign up it's a free e-newsletter so if you want the link um just comment and then um, later we will put the link there yeah but yeah i'm just gonna i think i'll end now since i don't see any more questions and here you go. This is the so this is gonna go into the dehydrator and then um I guess um I'll most probably like show you how it turns out in the Instagram. So check out my Instagram at Raw Chefian as well. Um and then see you guys another time. Yeah, um if there's anything you wanna see me make, comment below and I'll see whether um I can try out someone's recipe. I'm so lazy yo. Not so easy, it's just like, I find it interesting trying other people's recipes. I know I have so much recipes, I think I'm just tired of my own, so I'll try other people's recipes. But yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys another time. Remember, animals are our friends, not food. Go vegan! Bye-bye! Hello, Marin Heather! I am just about to end, so you can watch the replay.